Welcome back. Beautiful campus here at Center College, Danville, Kentucky. Paul Ryan has a lot on his plate these days in addition to preparing for tonight's vice presidential debate. He actually has a whole other campaign to worry about. Ryan is simultaneously doing what a lot of vice presidential running mates have had to do, which is run for re-election as well as be the number two in the ticket. And in this case, it's for the representative of the 1st Congressional District of Wisconsin. Well, his opponent in that race is my next guest, Democratic Congressional Candidate Rob Zerban. And you came here to follow Paul Ryan. Why? Well, I'm here today because Paul Ryan's refused to engage the voters of the 1st Congressional District since he's been tapped as the uh, running mate for Mitt Romney, and, and he's not answered questions. I mean, let's face it, he's authored the most destructive, irresponsible budget the United States has ever seen, so well, I feel... Well, I mean, if by running on the national ticket, is he not answering these same questions that voters in a swing district like uh, the 1st Congressional District of Wisconsin, isn't he answering these questions? Well, no, you know, they're seeing a side of Paul Ryan they've never seen before. The national spotlight has not been very kind to him in his positions. You know, he co-sponsored or co-authored um, H.R. 3 with Todd Akin redefining rape and, you know, wrote a budget that calls from killing Medicare. So uh, he needs to come back. Everybody and thinks it kills Medicare. I mean, that is, it is, it is the premium support, and he redid it. You know, he re reconfigured his plan because it was getting so much criticism. Well, it's no longer the guaranteed benefit that Medicare is. It turns it into a voucher program. So whether you're, you're using that voucher to, to try and opt into the Medicare or going out and buying private insurance, nobody, nobody feels it's going to meet the need of an aging population. You have had a surge in fundraising. You outraised Paul Ryan's mm -hmm. congressional committee. I know that in the last, mm -hmm. uh, in the last period. Are you running TV ads? Are you uh, getting get a debate? Are you getting any airtime uh, where uh, a local network might have a debate if Paul Ryan comes or doesn't? Well, certainly we've had we've already accepted the invitations from the local news there outlets. There are local there, news outlets that yes. offer debate. And I am up on TV. We did outraise Paul Ryan by over two hundred thousand dollars, and we're now spending that money getting a message out about uh, the alternative that the voters want. You know, we've seen we've seen unemployment skyrocket in our district since he's been our congressman. In Janesville, his hometown, it's more than tripled. And in Kenosha and Racine, where I live on the eastern part of the district, it's more than doubled. So um, he needs to come back and debate these issues and answer questions. Unemployment on the rise. Why is that Paul Ryan's fault, not President Obama's? Well, we've seen, you know, Paul Ryan pointed out in his, uh, his, uh, con his convention speech that he tried to lay the blame of the closing of the GM plan at the, the feet of President Obama. And there's this disturbing pattern of dishonesty coming from the vice presidential nominee that people uh, haven't seen in the past. So uh, he's certainly supported policies in Washington, D.C. that have allowed companies to export these jobs overseas. And we need to make sure that uh, he comes back and answers the question of why does he support these policies? Why do you support free trade deals, not fair trade deals? Do you believe you're getting enough support from the Democratic Party? The, the Democratic Party has been there with me from the beginning. They they asked me to get involved in this race. I was happy to do it, and they've allowed me to build the organization that I have today that helped us, you know, outraise Paul Ryan this last quarter. All right, Rob Serrano will be watching your race. You came here to follow. I guess you're delivering petition signatures. You're looking for a debate. I already delivered 53,000 signatures. I think it would be hard to imagine that he's going to be able to pull off the ticket and debate. In I'm district. not asking him to pull off the ticket. I just want him to come back in the district and engage the voters. All right, Mr. Zaban, we'll be watching.